The pallid manzanita, a state endangered species, has been under management by FOSC for about 20 years, but intensive management began about five years ago. In 2015, the manzanita site at the Chabot Space and Science Center was choked with invasive trees that were shading out the remaining pallid manzanitas. All that was left were three living specimens out of 21 that were identified in 1995. And of those three, two were to soon perish. Using wildfire prevention money, trees were removed that were shading out the seed bed, and we hope that seeds were left from the adult trees. So these are the marked trees that would soon be gone. Once the large overhanging and overstory was removed, the ground was prepared by removing more vegetation and the seed bank was allowed to receive sunlight and moisture. The seed bank was quick to re-sprout when sunlight and moisture was added and the seeds were quick to grow in the fog drip of the summer. It was quickly evident that there were a lot more seedlings than we ever thought possible. And all we needed to do was to monitor them uh, and try to meet our goal of creating the 21 that were locked. In order to survey the site, we had to biosanitize our gear. Here we are dousing our feet with alcohol to kill the Phytophthora cinnamomy spores that kill the adults and also the seedlings. COVID-19 was another pathogen to deal with in 2020. The monitors visited the plants, counted and measured, identified with tags where the plants were. In 2020, five years after the uh, overstory was removed, those seedlings have now grown to be semi-mature plants. These young plants themselves are actually flowering and setting seeds, so we expect more self-generation on this plot. Seeing pallid manzanitas growing at the foot of redwoods may be unique, but so is this site, and we're able to regenerate a mixed community of plants, including madrones. After five years, these trees are about five feet tall and are starting to assume the manzanita shape. It will require more brush clearing uh, and shrub management to keep up so they don't become shaded out. This is a good example of a dead adult tree that has passed away and the young trees that are taking its place on the hillside at Chabot Space and Science Center. In fact, in the background of this photo, the Space and Science Center can be seen, and this is probably the northernmost individual pallet next to the pink flag. The Friends of Sausal Creek have been successful in recovering the pallid manzanitas. There are now over a hundred of them when they were just down to three when we began five short years ago. The Friends of Sausal Creek still have challenges at the Big Tree site where the manzanitas are still being overgrown and the site is more difficult uh, to remove the overstory. But we are confident that the success we had at the Chabot Space and Science Center can be replicated in other areas in the Oakland Hills and we will recover the pallid manzanita and keep it from becoming an extinct or even an endangered species. This is a great success story after 20 years of hard work. <laughs>